Saturday, Saturday is not today, it's pudding day, pudding day. <laughs> Hello everybody, I am Tupperware Pete, and yes, normally I do pudding Saturday, but tonight we're going to step out of our comfort zone. That's where the growth happens, that's where the magic happens. And I'm going to do a cake in a bag, my two ingredient cake in a bag. Let me show you, right? Let's just put these maracas down over here. I'm going to be using my supersonic chopper. No need to ask, it's a smooth chopper right now. I'm going to cook up in there. I've got my, my cake mix, a tin of fruit, and I'm going to be cooking it in one of the silicon bags. Now, these are the brand new silicon bags. They go from the freezer to the microwave oven, the gas oven, electric oven, the wood oven. You can pop them in a sous vide on the stove top. You can pop them in the dishwasher. You can strap them to your um, backpack when you're going out hiking or going on a bushwalk or whatever. They are 100% liquid tight. I've got one in the freezer right now filled with water. That's my ice pack. You can I can cook a beef casserole in the oven in one of these. Just stick it on an oven tray and that's your casserole dish, right? So there are a few different... <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> You've got the large one that holds, what, about four litres in there, right? Or you've got this one here that holds about three litres into that one. You've got this one here which holds about one litre. And then you've got the 500 mil one. I'm going to cook in the one litre one. I'm going to cook a, a microwave cake in a bag. Yes, indeed. You know, for those moments where people come over and they go, oh, by the way, it's my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'll just whip you up a quick cake. What I'm going to do in the supersonic chopper, instead of the blade attachment in there that I did my chicken breast in, I've got the, the paddle whisk. This is funky design. It's one red, red dot. European Design Awards all through Europe. Um, it's the best product on the planet. It's got its anti-slip grip on the bottom. You've got measurements there. It measures up to 1,200 mils, and you've got the little increments. There we go. Can you see that there? If you turn it around, there's the fill line. You can pop it around. You've got fluid ounces and cup measurements on there. So it's like three or four or five different products all in one. When you're using it, it's a zero-carbon footprint. All right, so... I digress. Let's pop that straight into there. It fits on a little peg into there. We are going to grab, I've just got a home brand cake mix, just like a any brand, any brand will do. We will pop that straight into there. There's our cake mix. I'm using vanilla. You can use chocolate, butter, whatever you like. There is no... There's no rules, only guidelines. I've got a tin of, what's this? A tin of fruit salad. That's it, two ingredients. Open up the arms of your can opener. <laughs> all in all, it's just a... Uh, pop that over there. You pop it on. You know you've got it on because you can lift the whole thing up, right? Whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you can just turn it in a clockwise direction until you hear that click. Did you hear that? You can turn it back a quarter of a turn or just open up the arms and release it. Grab your beak. Hook the beak over the can, one hand on the can, the other hand lifts up, and see, that never touches any food. You don't ever have to wash it. If you never wash this can opener, it will be the last can opener you ever buy. You go over to the bin, that goes into the bin, that goes back into the drawer. Thank you very much. And look, no sharp edges. <laughs> I love it. All right, tin of fruit, juice and all. Truth be known, we have gone over the fill line just a little bit, so be very careful when you pull the cord, all right? <laughs> so, <laughs> we are... <laughs> Not that I've ever broken the cord on one of these. I do like to know how far you can push the product. All right, so are you, re are you ready? Wait, how come this is not working? Oh, this is the one that's got oil in it. Oh, no! <laughs> how could that have happened? <laughs> you know what we do? Luckily... The little supersonic chopper is, the cover fits perfectly on here. And it's just like a bayonet light bulb. You pop that onto there, you pull the cord. That's better. Can you see that spinning around? I'm spinning it. Why is this not working? <laughs> what is going on with the Tupperware? <laughs> well, at least we got the first pull of the cord happening. What's happening? There we go. That's... Oh, we are. There we go. Too easy. 
that's it. <laughs> Done. Right? What you do is, you pop that upside down in here, so if there are any drips, it's going to drip into here instead of all over your bench top. Set that aside. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> there was something in the stars that night. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. What we're going to do is we're going to grab our silicon bag. Grab our Tupperware spatula. This is the one, it doesn't matter whether you've got a, a corner in the bottom of your jar or your bag or a curved bottom. You're going to get right down in there. You're going to get every skerrick out. We are going to pour that straight into our bag. <laughs> this is your cake tin. You can also put your smalls in here when you go camping or travelling. You can pop your toiletries in here. You can pop a soup in there. You've got your leftovers. It'll cook popcorn in the microwave in this container as well. So all we're going to do is... There was something in the stars at night. The stars were bright. We will pop that straight into here. There we go. Talk amongst yourselves for this bit while I... <laughs> mm, that's the be be best bit of cooking, isn't it? You get to lick the spatula. All right. That, my friends, is our cake mix. Pop that into there. Now, I'm just not sure. I've never done this before, so I don't know how long it's going to take to cook. So, maybe... Eight minutes. We'll pop it on for six and then we'll check it. While that's in there, what I wanted to show you, I'm going to cook something else, another little pudding, another little sweet treat. In here, these are, okay, so you know you've got your modular mates for the pantry. People have been buying modular mates for 40 years all around the world, right? Tupperware have come, because Tupperware is all about choices and variety, right? Options. We've now got the One Touch Fresh as an option for your pantry, which is a little bit more accessible, and the sides are a little bit sort of spongy. I've got my mini marshmallows in here, and then in my rectangle, you grab the tab, peel the seal. I've got my jelly and my instant pudding mix. I've got more bag mixes down the bottom, cake mixes. I've got junket and gelatine in there, right? What I'm going to do is grab my green aeroplane lime jelly. I like aeroplane jelly. And these are the, the, what are they called? Ultra clear. They're a little bit more sexy. They're a little bit more stylish for your pantry and for the fridge. These can go into the fridge and the pantry and so can these. These are a firmer side, right? So they're quite a solid piece. See how the tops are flared out? This hasn't been cleaned. Who hasn't come, done these dishes? <laughs> That's right, I live alone. Whoops a daisy. <laughs> you can see how the top flares out? That grips into your Tupperware seal, right? And these are extremely accessible. They're very easy to open, to apply and remove the seal. It's a grab the tab, peel the seal, and that's a proper airtight Tupperware seal. The base of them have been reinforced, and you can tell this holds a litre. That's amazing. That's like four and a quarter cups or something. That's pretty cool. That's that into there. I've got a whole bag of desiccated coconut into here, which we will probably cook with tonight. These are the modular mates that I was talking about. This is a massive rectangle one. I've got my arrowroot biscuits in there. I've got some dried cranberries, blueberries. I think there's even sweetened cherries in there as well. Um, gelatine in there too. So everything that you bring home from the, from the supermarket, pop it in your Tupperware. Tupperware becomes your packaging. And some people say that they extend the best before date up to five years, right? So with these ones, you do grab the tab, release all four corners and then peel the seal. Whereas with these ones here, you simply grab the tab and peel the seal. So they're very easy to open. Does that make sense? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, what should we have? Blueberries, cherries, cranberries. Let's dip some cranberries. It's in your head, it's in your head. Cranberry, cranberry, 
what I've got is, I've got my kettle. When you, when, you have a, when you sell Tupperware, not only do you earn money and get free Tupperware, but they give you other things as well, like kettles and toasters and iPhones and laptops. and It's really good. All right, so what we're going to do is we've got our... Let's use one of these. This is the one-litre micro-cook pitcher. It goes into the microwave. Everything you do on your stovetop in a saucepan... This thing will do it in the microwave. So whether you're doing porridge, scrambled eggs, baked beans, spaghetti, white sauce, gravy, custard, melting chocolate, melting butter, um, what else? Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, peas, corn, carrots and capsicum. This thing will do it in the microwave instead of doing it on the stovetop. The handle never, ever gets hot. And the handle at the top never gets hot. The bottom gets hot where the food is, but you don't, you, you don't put your hand there. You put your hand on the handle and on this handle. It's made out of a product called Microtherm, which is unique to Tupperware and invisible when you pop it in the microwave oven, right? There are measurements. Can you see these measurements on the side? Now, you don't have to look around on this side to read the measurements because the measurements, they're in there, so you can easily... Oh, there we go, 500 mils, and away you go, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook up some jelly. I'm going to... <laughs> I always forget how much hot water you need, so just bear with me while I remember what you do. Is it? It's one cup of boiling water. Now, if you don't want to use that as your jug, look at this set. They're cool. You pop them on the top there, so that stops your poached eggs from splattering all over the microwave oven. So when you're using your microwave, and um, especially if you're using a communal microwave, someone says it's your turn to clean the microwave, you go, uh-uh, I use my Tupperware. All the mess stays on the inside here instead of the inside of the microwave, so I don't have to clean it. Right? This here, that's your 500 mil, which is about two cups. This is your 200 mil or 250 mil, which is about one cup, right? So if we've got in here, does this say 250 mil of boiling water? So all you have to do, that's the whole lot. It's like a heat resistant set of measuring cups. So you just pop that straight into there. There's our boiling water. We get our aeroplane jelly. <laughs> Aeroplane jelly for me. Grab our Tupperware scissors. Open up our Tupper our bag of Aeroplane jelly. Pop that straight into there and let that dissolve. Now all we might want to do now is just grab our Tupperware simple spoon. Give that a bit of a mix. Let that dissolve away. While that's dissolving, I want to show you. Now you might want to See here, this is the Crystal Wave soup mug. That's your reheatable mug, but instead of soup, oh, there's the literature that it comes with. <laughs> instead of soup, why not do some jelly? You could pop some jelly in there. Or, this is the one touch fresh in the square that this, there's the oval, there's the rectangle, and you can get number one, this is a number three. You can get another one in the middle. This is the square. Let's do some jelly in there. Let's do some jelly in there. <laughs> it's a one-touch square. Let's throw in, why not? Throw in some mini marshmallows into that one. Nice little sweet treat. And then once this is dissolved, which is almost dissolved, we will then throw in... 200 mils of cold water. So what we're going to do is fill this up with 200 mils of cold water, pop that straight into there and look at these. In my ultra clear, I've got some Freddo frogs. <laughs> Let's do frog in the pond. All right, so we've got our Freddo frogs. We're going to open this up. We're going to pop in a couple of frogs, just on the side. We'll do some two frogs there with some mini marshmallows. We're going to spin this around. We are going to, obviously I would let that cool a little, but for the video, we're going to, look at that, the heads are sticking out, and we can now seal that, pop that straight into the fridge. 
And then tomorrow, when it comes time for dessert, we can throw in some whipped cream, some fruit, and we can pop that straight into the fridge, right? So in the meantime, while we are waiting, yes, I hear the microwaves beeping at us. Let's have a look at this cake. Does it need a couple minutes? We popped it in for six minutes. It's like a cake, baby. I reckon <laughs> it's hot. I reckon we might. I can't believe that only took six minutes. Let's find a plate. Like it's, like it's a proper, where's the spatula gone? <laughs> I can't, let's use this. Ah, oh, there's a narrow spatula. Here we go. This is ideal. The narrow spatula is perfect. Oh, peel her down. Let's just, how awesome is this? That's, I'm amazed that only took six minutes. Far out. Look at that. How easy is that? That took six minutes. Oh, I need a... <laughs> you know what I do need? I need a Tupperware oven mitt. But, oh, that's really hot. We will. You know what? Excuse fingers. There's our cake. Six minutes. One packet of cake mix, a tin of fruit salad. We can have that with our jelly once it cools. I've got a few other little bits and pieces. If I wanted to, I could do a big pond. <laughs> big pond. Do the rest of that into there. Throw in a few, throw in another couple of, let that cool so the frogs don't melt. But we can pop that straight into there. Let's do a few chocolate frogs into there. And if you wanted to, get really fancy. Here's our um, dried cranberries. It's in your head. Dried cranberries, thank you very much. And what we're gonna do is we are going to pop them straight into our ultra clear, very accessible. I can easily see what I've got in them. If I want to label them, I can label them here or I can pop a little label on the, on the tab in there. How delicious. I'm going to have some of this right now. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please let me know. I'm more than happy to, um, to answer any questions. If you, there's a particular product that you want to know more about, let me know. Ask me. I'll do a video about it. Or maybe you've got something at home that you're like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with this. What, like, what does it do? Ask me and I'll do a video on it, all right? And in the meantime, you know what you need to do? Until I see you next time. Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll cook for you another day. <laughs> I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.